We back, America's Village Podcast, Live Hip Hop Daily. We got my boy Molly G in the building. Yo, 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 fuck gone. Super producer in the building. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you having me. We Unfortunately, Mercury's Villas can't be here with us right now, but we still going to continue this interview. You know what I'm saying? All right. Word, word, word. So, shit, man. We've been meaning to get you up here for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You've been making a lot of buzz in the streets. You and uh, Young Sin out here going crazy. You know what I'm facts, saying? Facts, facts, facts. So, yeah, uh, yeah. let us know how did that come apart. Uh... I mean, shit. It really just came about just on some phone call, sending niggas some shit. All right, he just did it. <laughs> the next, you know, it went from like five songs to ten songs to twenty to like, like a whole catalog. Tch, what? For sure, for sure. A whole more than the catalog. Yeah. Like, so, so it's just crazy. Well, uh, like, did you hear a song of his and then was like? I got this shit that I, that uh, I know that he'll slide on type shit, and that's that's what made like you know what I'm saying. Or I mean, did he pick out the beat, or you just had a beat for him that you just sent to him? Nah, he just said send him some shit. Like he was just like, bro, send me some hard ass shit. I sent him some okay shit. Like I sent him some old shit. Like right. I sent him like five six year old beats, like beats I've been made back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like okay, here this little bro. Like I'm mm-hmm. just sending him like this little bro. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna send it to him. He went crazy. He went crazy. I'm talking about beats I've been let everybody else hear or listen to. Niggas was like, ah, oh, uh, I can't hear it. I don't hear myself on this. Nah, next one. The same beats I sent to him going crazy. For sure. I'm talking about fucking the world up. For sure. Right now, as for we sure. speak. For sure, yeah, for Facts. sure. Yeah, right now, as we speak, y'all definitely going nuts in the streets, man. Y'all got east side the whole atlanta what uh i know you said he went on the way to austin right south by southwest yeah yeah <clears throat> for sure for sure for sure to go then, crazy out there too yeah for sure for sure and then what you were saying coming up uh the, uh, uh, the drake tour the, drake the, and 21 drake and 21 tour yeah, yeah that's gonna be dope that's gonna be dope man so Thanks. uh so what else what like like okay so how long you been making beats uh i've been I've been making beats since I was in ninth grade. Okay. On what, like? Fruit ninth, tenth grade, yeah, like on Fruit Loop. Uh, shout out to my brother David, man. You playing. Hit my phone. Bro, you playing. <laughs> this nigga, okay, at first I was playing keys. Like, I just know, I know how to play keys shit. For what, so, church or something? Yeah, th- yeah, but I was just new off ear, though. It, but my family, they... Nobody, nobody really taught you? Or, like, mm-mm. what you mean? You don't know how to read? Uh, how to read I can read music, but that's okay. also some bad shit. Like, okay. I could read music or some shit like that, but playing keys, like, I just picked it up. I was just, because my uncle used to have a piano mm-hmm. in his uh, in his house when you first walk in. It's the piano to the right. Mm-hmm. And um, I used to just go over there, me and my brother, and then we just play on it. And then I started putting things together, and then I looked on YouTube one day, just looked up, like, how to play progressional chords or like how to just, <laughs> just I was just on a, just Touch bored. Yourself for real. Facts. Okay. Everything. Okay. Like, Self-made boss. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Since for I sure. came out. <laughs> Since I came out. <laughs> nah, that's dope. That's dope. That's a motivational story right there. So, so what age, what you think you was like, what? So in ninth grade, that's when you saying you was putting shit together or? Nah, I really wasn't taking it serious. Like, I wasn't taking it serious at all. I wasn't even, like, I knew I was going to be a producer one day. But I really wanted to be a club owner. Okay. That's what I wanted to be. Is that still, like, one of your... I mean, yeah, I'm going to have a club for sure. But, I mean, I done ran a club before. Shout okay. out DJ Cutthroat, man. I done, I done ran, like, bro done put me in a position where I was running that shit. Like, okay. from door to... I'm giving... I was making so much money to the point I was giving away money. Mm. So... I'm telling you I was that. having... Yeah, I was having <laughs> rap battles. You go look it up pregame. You can go look it up. Back in 2018, 2019, I was giving away money. For sure, for sure. And I was still working in and out of town, going to South Carolina, working on apartments. Mm. Coming back in town. For sure. For sure. Hustle man. Facts. <laughs> everywhere. Hustle like, man, hustle man. I make man. money yeah, everywhere. Me. Too much money ain't enough money. Nah, for sure. Too much money ain't enough money. Never that. I tell you, too much money ain't enough money. <laughs> Anybody will tell you, I stayed with a job. Mm. Seven, eight, ten jobs. For sure. I got jobs right now. Still hustling, still making beats. In the loop, you feel me? Good credits. You got you got something with twenty one yet? No, uh, I'm hoping one day 
You yeah. feel me? It's gonna be there. It's gonna come. It's gonna. Not it's soon. You like, just gotta talk. You gotta yeah. speak it into existence. Well, it's gonna come. Yeah. I know it's gonna come. Yeah. I know I'm gonna get placements. I don't want to get placements with Bruno Mars. For sure. Like, For sure. I'm on a whole different nah, type of level. Speak on it. Speak like, on it. I'm just Ooh. on a whole that's a, different type of level. Because that's a different. Like different genre for real. It's yeah. not rap. You know what I'm saying? So who else you plan on working with? Cause that was a good reach right there. I like that. Bruno Mars. Yeah. That's dope. I mean, I just think outside the box. Like mm -hmm. I can work with females, but just not any female. Cause I don't see with the females. It's like if women just sit there and really, if they really went through something, they can come at a different angle, but they just don't know how to. They just understand. You feel me? Just the regular shit, shaking ass. Right. Let me see your pussy. So, um, so you, is there any females that you see right now that you looking for working with? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. On some, on some chill shit, I could do like Summer Walker and, and, and SZA. Okay. Like okay. I like their little sound, but they gotta meet my sister, my blood sister, bro. She can sing like she's like them on a whole different level though. Word. On a whole different level. Like, so do she? You got her. In the I mean, she want me. She want me to record her yeah. and put it, put some shit together. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But um, sound, sound like you bullshit, Morley. Nah, it's just that. <laughs> see, I don't wait on nobody. Like I, I work every day. Yeah. Wake up. I'll go to work for real. Come home. My brothers will call me. Hey, Morley, I need you to come record me. Oh my god. It's 2 30 in the morning. Oh, I need you to come to the studio. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. it was to the point when I was in high school, I was record, I was engineering for other artists too. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you used to rap yourself? No, I never rap. I never rapped a day in my life. I ain't that type of nigga. You ain't gonna see me trying to drop a mixtape. <laughs> None of that. I'm just strictly music. Like, okay. I just like making beats. Like, I just like being out the scene. Like, I don't, for sure. I don't like being in front of people. Mm. It may not look like it, but. I'm the type of nigga like, hell no, you better not go out there and say nothing. You just, just stand out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. I ain't that type of nigga. I just, <laughs> I just stay in my lane. I don't try to jump lanes here, mm -hmm. rap and do, no, I don't do that. Cause You know what fits you. Yeah, like, see, you got some people that can do that. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, I just feel like if you, you gotta, you can't put your feet in, you can't serve two masters. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You just got to figure out what you really want to do. Nah, for sure. Like, I done for told sure. a couple producers out here that that's up there in the industry right now. I done told them before they blew up. Bro, that rapping ain't you. And then they started making beats and went crazy. Well, they producer. been was making beats, but at the same time, it's like this. If you making beats and you engineering and stuff and you rapping, you, I feel like you going to make shit only for you hard. Only stuff for you. Like... You're not going to think gonna about share the good beat to the point. It, it, it may be a, 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 a preset while you're recording. Mm -hmm. It may be a preset that you use for your voice that you try to make everybody use. Now, you now, bro, calling you like, hey. That's not what, it, what I... My voice don't sound like that. I wasn't yeah. trying to say that. Like, yeah, or yeah, this, yeah, yeah, No, yeah, you sure. got to think about everybody. So that's just too much to keep up with. Yeah. And then next, you know, you're going to be like, man, fuck that shit. Yeah. I'm going to try. And then, hop, like, you wave hop. You can't wave hop. You got to stay in one, one lane and keep going. Nah, it sound like you know what you're talking about. Man, I done been through it. I done had opportunities shut in my face. Like, big opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I learned from that shit. Nah, for sure. So it's like to the point, like, now I'm to the point I can't take no for an answer. You got to go. You got to go. It's either you with or you not. For sure, for sure, for sure. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. That's 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 motivation right there, man. I know people out here that's watching. I know y'all feeling inspired. You know what I'm saying? And uh, other producers, if you watching, you know what I mean. Tap it. Let them know your Instagram. Man, y'all like can too. hit me up at underscore she with Morley. Mm -hmm. S H E W I T M O R L E Y. For sure, for sure, for sure. So shit, man. Let us know what else you got charting. What else you got coming up? Uh, well, I got. First of all, y'all go get that wrong turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The album just dropped mm -hmm. December twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. Last year, that shit going crazy. Yeah, for sure. That shit going crazy. I'm trying to tell you, go get that wrong turn. Nah, it definitely goes. I'm telling crazy. you, it's out right now, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Go get that wrong turn. We just dropped a video with Anti, yeah, uh, Burning Roses, uh, Monday. Mm -hmm. And that shit fire. That shit going crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that shit. Everything fire. we drop is going crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's no reason to stop hating. You right. feel me? And you, <laughs> you definitely going slap, bro. So I know everybody out there is watching it because bro was going up. And everybody know when the artists go up, they producer go up with them. You know nice, what I'm saying? Nice. So, and 
uh, you know, the, the streets know what's going on. Yeah. The streets know what's going on for sure, for sure. So, uh, yeah, let us know what else you got going on. Uh, I got I got some projects out with my brother BC Demon. Mm-hmm. Um, late nights, the video on the way to that. You can go get down Apple Music and any other platforms. Uh, we got fuck the ops, BC Demon, and um, with Young Sin. Y'all go get that video, and it's out on on Apple Music too as well. Um. Man, it's just so much. Like a lot of shit out. Man, yeah, I got some shit. Eastside sold up. Mm-hmm. The Eastside been sold up. It's just that niggas was asleep. I just snatched the covers off niggas. Yeah, for sure. Wake them up. Like, I, Shake I, the room. I had to let niggas know what really was going. On. Like, mm-hmm. I've been telling y'all this was about to happen. Now they eyes open. You feel me? Now everybody open. Oh, gee. Oh, boy, bro. Oh, boy. Oh, I, oh. I feel like. Oh, I feel like I need to take. Man, how long you been feeling like that? <laughs> <laughs> how long you been feeling like that? For nah, real. For sure, for sure. Like, one thing about me, like I said, my worth ethic is is paying off. Like, I used to do 48-hour sessions mm-hmm. for free. Mm. Free now. No money, no nothing. I still record some of my peoples for free. But those are just my peoples that I know that I done planted that seed and now it's sprouting, it's yeah, growing. For sure, for just sure. not even with sin. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just I gotta be in every basket. Mm-hmm. You gotta hit all the pockets. Yeah, I gotta be. But back to when you asked me about the female, like I got um, oh, you yeah, know my my sister, uh, my little sister, man, she going crazy, man. Uh, shout out to Big Brat, man. Oh God, man, she going crazy. That's she name? yeah, Big Big Brat. Big Brat. She she signed the Slaughter, Slaughter Game too and Metro Boomin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got some shit. She she just got to finish that song up, but that shit going crazy. But she be going crazy. I had to record her a couple I gotta times too. Check her out. She rapping. Facts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I gotta check but, her out. Um, Big Brat. I do a song. I I do like on the rapid tip. You know, I got I got Cardi. Lotto and Megan. That's a good lineup right there. That's it. And we know Cardi and Megan together can make good music. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they went crazy on that WAP. So if we get you one more, of the, one more of those. You gonna go dumb for sure. Right. You go dumb. Um, <clears throat> Cardi dumb too. Cardi. Uh, I don't know. And, and me, I'm a personal fan of Lotto, so I don't want to be too. Uh, <laughs> too biased, you know what I'm saying? But nah, she just be snapping like nah, she like sure. you just you just gotta give it to them when you just gotta tell when someone's snapping like. And then watching her from a kid to now, you know what I'm saying on the on the rap game shit or whatever that shit was uh, growing up in the rap game. That's, yeah, yeah. She 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 definitely man, yeah. She a boss bitch and she about her paper about her and she's giving them a run for their money. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that definitely. A good, a good starting three right there. What about, what about uh, Mel? Uh, damn. I mean, I, I, I want to do. I'm going to do something with Future. Okay. I had the opportunity. I could have, but uh-huh. it's all know. right. It's all no, right. It's gonna go. come back. It's gonna come uh, back around. Man, free Jeffrey, man. Yeah. Free okay. Jeffrey, man. Big slime. Free Jeffrey, man. Mm-hmm. Um, man, it's a couple, but really, I man, it's a, I it's a critical it's like, spot. It's the last one. Yeah, I don't really listen to nobody. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Like okay. I listen to my shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I play my beats for sure. For sure, <laughs> I will be in the car by myself and play my beats all through the like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inspiration. You feel me? Like yeah. if I'm not on it, I'm to the point. If I'm not on it, I don't want to listen to it. Like. And that and that's how you stay true to your sound too. The only time I, you'll catch me listening to another song if I'm in the club, and I barely go to the club, the studio, my club. Nah, for sure. You feel me? Like, it's just so. So with that being said, who's your inspiration when it comes to music? Uh, I say myself and my family. Okay. Like music run through my blood mm-hmm. on both sides. Like music runs through my veins, real strong. So it's like. It just came through all of us. But I'm Maybe. saying, when you was growing up, though. Oh, uh, like I say, I ain't gonna lie. My favorite producer, Dr. Dre. Okay. Okay. 
That's like, dope. That's for dope. real. Like, that's dope. That's my nigga. Like, yeah, for, for sure. Without for Dre. Sure. Nah, Dre a goat. Dre a goat. Like, if that's you really legend. sit back and just listen to shit that he had back when he was young to 25, 30, you could tell it was just him. Like, see, I want to get to the point where when I make a beat, you know it's my beat. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even have to put my tag on it. You don't got to put a tag on it. It sound like some shit you, that... You, real producers know nigga sounds. Right. So it's like, if I make a beat, boom, Al Green get on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They going to be like, damn, Morley went crazy on that bitch. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. I'm trying to get to that level to where... I don't even have to put my tag on it no more. Yeah. You know I made that you shit. Know your sound. Like yeah, you know that sure. shit for sure. Like for I sure. made that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, it's that that sounds good though. I ain't gonna lie. Dr. Dre is definitely somebody to look up to when it comes to this producing shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like I I think I it was if it wasn't the last episode, it was the one before, I was trying to figure out who was richer, him or Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Cause I mm-hmm. know he sold the beats for the Beats headphones for like something billion or something like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm pretty sure that puts him very high rankings, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, we need you in that in that category over there, man, you right. know what I'm saying? And yeah, like niggas know a Dre beat, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know a Pharrell beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, definitely feel what you're saying, bro. So, yeah, I feel like you on the, you on the right way on the right journey, on the right path, especially because you know what you want to do and you know how to get there. Stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? You listening to your own music. I feel like that's a good way to keep your sound. You know what I'm saying? Not listening to too much, you know, whatever, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Then you start ranting off, sounding like them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to add they packs inside you. You know what I'm saying? I don't so, do none of that shit. Like, yeah, I tell sure. producers... To this day, it's not about when you making beats. It's not about doing all the extra shit. These rappers don't like that extra shit. Yeah, I don't work with a lot of like a lot of well known rappers. Like, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. they don't like that extra shit. Mm-hmm. When you get a simple ass beat and that shit hitting, yeah, they gonna carry that bitch for sure, for like, sure. All that extra ass shit, and then it's like. It interferes with their voice because it may be a part where they want to change up, but you still keeping that beat right. And they're like, nah, this shit, man, change the shit. Mm-hmm. They'll do this shit quick. Mm-hmm. They'll do that shit quick. You'll be in the middle of recording. They'll have a hook verse. It'll be like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> man, change the beat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure, for sure. You, you on drugs right now? <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Man, the guy ain't no machine. <clears throat> it, it be like that though, right? With yeah. What? <laughs> probably when I leave him here, they. I'm probably going. Yo, more you trying to record or not? No. No. <laughs> man, All right, come that's on. that's how it go, man. Hey. You out here hustling, man. And you know, oh shit, man. Uh, let them know your your Instagram. Let them know where to find you at again. Underscore she with Morley again. She with Morley. S H E W I T M O R L E Y. For show, for show, for show. And y'all know my Instagram. Y'all know what I got going on. Underscore. Don't forget the G. D O N T. Or get the G. Don't do it. <laughs> Can't forget that. Facts, facts, facts. This is America's Realist Podcast. Live hip hop daily. We'll be back next Wednesday. Six to six to eight next Wednesday. We was a little pushed back this Wednesday. We'll be out there south by southwest this this weekend. See y'all out there.